Tomar, you are launching a live webinar every three months. Uh, I, the fact that it's identical just means that your sales page or your registration page won't, won't be changing much, <laughs> right? So what do I recommend in terms of uh, the launch itself? So basically, the first question always is, where uh, does your audience expect your content and announcements, right? So for example, um, Tomar, for you, you've got a Facebook profile presence. You've got um, an, an email newsletter, right? Mm -hmm. uh, what else yep. do you have, Tomar? Well, you've got Instagram. I've got it. So this is the year I'm going to break into Instagram. Okay, so you don't have that yet. So you got I don't Facebook have it up. In but your current audience sees you on Facebook profile. They see you on email newsletters. Where else do they see you? That's probably it. Okay. All right. Well, that's the, and, and your Facebook, you know, audience is quite active. So it's almost like having two email newsletters. Um, so essentially. Depending on yeah. Facebook mm -hmm. at the mercy of Facebook. Yeah. The mercy of Facebook. Yeah. Without ads. Right. Yeah. So at, two, the, at the pleasure of Facebook, at the pleasure of right. Facebook algorithm gods. So two announcements per webinar is what I usually do per mm. place that you, I think that's, that's my definition of a gentle launch. Now, uh, how far in advance, how far in advance. Right. So, um, announcement one, I always do it, uh, two weeks in advance. Uh. Okay. Announcement two is um, a few days in advance. Uh, usually, I, I say starts next week is usually what I do. Or, you know, if if you're doing it the day before, which is fine too, by the way, day before is great. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's 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 tomorrow. You know, mm -hmm. um, so so um, you know, it's ex anyway, excited to announce. Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> So that's the gentle, I mean, it's easy as, it's as simple as that. Plus um, individual outreaches mm. to um, the most productive, of course, is to any uh, colleagues with relevant audience. So you might have a list for yourself where it's like um, contact each colleague approximately every six to 12 months for support on announcing, you know, on, on getting the word out. So, so, so in other words, let's say you have a list of, mm. uh, you know, 30 colleagues and you contact each one every six months. So essentially um, if you, uh, if you break that down, so that's like 15 colleagues um, every six, uh, no, I'm sorry, it's 30 colleagues every six months, which means Every quarter now, I, my math is now, <laughs> but you, you see what I mean. It's like, a quarter. Okay, I I don't like do this, George. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's, yeah. No, you're right. Fifteen per quarter. So it's like every time you do your quarterly webinar, you're contacting fifteen more colleagues to say, hey, uh, I just want to let you know I'm doing my uh, I'm doing my live webinar again. People really like it. Here are a few uh, quick testimonials. If you feel like it's beneficial. Um, to share with your people, I'd be honored, totally optional. Thank you. You know, and um, mm. and that's 15 people. And then the next quarter, it's the other 15 people. And then the uh. following quarter, it's the previous 15 people. You know, so it's like every six months you're contacting them. So mm. um, now, actually, you know, uh, some colleagues might might say, might say, can you do a special one for my audience? Right. Mm. So that's a cool uh, sort of alternative that you might even mention that in your announcement to say, hey, you can either share this or if you really find it beneficial, I, I, I would be happy to do a special webinar just for your people. And I and how long is the webinar? It's about an hour to 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. So it's it's yeah. I, I think of like, I you know, sometimes people go, George, well, what if I only have like three people who attend the webinar? I'm right. like, Oh, okay, hold on a second here. You're telling me do you, you know that you mind doing an exploratory call with three people all at the same time in one hour? <laughs> you know what I mean? A, a webinar is like an exploratory call. And it's like instead of doing an exploratory mm -hmm. call with one potential client, you're doing it with three potential clients all at once. What a great productive thing to do. Right. So anyway, that's what so even if a colleague says, you know what, I could probably only get three of my clients to join. I'm like, great, get three of your clients mm -hmm. to show up and we'll. And we'll do a special call just for that. Wow. Yeah. So, so this is this is mm. my gentle launch. And 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 when you start running paid ads, you know, when when you get going on that, 
yeah basically it basically in um it basically boosts boosts 10x your 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 reach yeah. of your announcements that's extens- that's essentially what you know paid ads do so um yeah. yeah so tomar i think that's a very basic plan for your webinar launch what do you think about that yeah so when you're talking about the um the announcements, the one aspect, of course, is my email list, which frankly is what I've been mostly focusing on for the last while. And mm-hmm. I've been doing less on Facebook this year. Yeah. And okay. I also am pretty sure it's diminishing. You know, the response on Facebook is diminishing okay. from okay. what I used from yeah. what I used to experience. Um, and I and and like one thing I haven't been doing is is doing events. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I could do that, you know, creating an event for each one is um, in terms of my email list, like I have an email general list of about 1200 Mm -hmm. of which maybe, you know, close to 300 open my emails regularly, Mm -hmm. about 55 signed up to be on an information sub sub list for this. Oh, I see. Yep. For this Mm -hmm. webinar and what I'm doing with it. Yeah. So you would email that list for sure. And you would also do a special announcement to the general list. Yes. I have to keep doing both. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, of that 55, there's about 48 who've been opening those emails and nine nine people showed up live on the webinar. Okay. Um, okay. I, yeah. and I, and I got mm. a feedback form from eight of them, which is really great. Yes. And you know, some other people. Anyway, it's, um, uh, yeah. The, so what you suggested about the list of colleagues, I don't have such a list. And well, I you never, have some, sure. Of course. You I mean, have. I have, I, I have. So of those colleagues, you're talking about people who are like buddies of mine, not people who are, you know, like, Right. Yeah. More. No, no, no. People, people that you, that you think they might actually share. And of course, in that email to colleagues, not of course, I should I mean, write this down. Um, uh, in, in that email include um, link to the various social posts of that announcement that they could basically click on the link. They, they might, you know, a colleague uh-huh. might say, yeah, you know, I'm not going to email my list about this because mm-hmm. I can't even, I shouldn't even include this because that's not what they expect in my email newsletter, but I would be happy to at the very least, you can even say um, uh, the, yeah. the simplest way they can support is to yeah. like like the post, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So oh, it's like okay. here, here are the posts. Here's my, you know, Facebook post, Instagram. Here's my YouTube uh, video about it. Here's my LinkedIn, whatever. And you, you know, okay. the simplest thing you do is simply like the post. If you want to, you can go ahead and share it. You know, share is a wonderful <laughs> additional step. And um, you know, and okay. and uh, and and you know, some might be, uh, you know, some might be appropriate to to include in their email newsletter so you should mention these things you know? yeah yeah that's good Th- um, that's helpful because i've been very loath to ask for help yeah no 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 you have by this point uh tomar you have uh, been part of so many different programs groups and just your own networking you have so many people who would be happy to support you so um do a special so, so that so that's really like a thank you that's really extra important reminder that i should make a campaign of reaching out to just oh, individuals oh, that's gonna that's who, that, that'll probably 10x your reach right now mm, so yeah people and, who have their own yeah right and and just to answer Moitz's question uh you know what's what's the uh the the target audience for the webby uh the webinar um the uh the target audience um would, would very simply be um you know the simplest is to uh warm 365 the simplest right um which is actually what i what i do to be honest i um i keep it real simple for my announcements hey if, if and, well yeah no uh what is, assuming, what is, three, assuming what is big, 365 big budget, <clears throat> meaning anybody who has engaged with your content in the past year uh, uh oh. to do that but smaller budget um warm 30 you know medium budget medium budget right oh, uh, warm warm 90 you know, basically. So, so oh, the, the, because the meaning, meaning uh, to reach all 365 days of people, that's that maybe th- three to 10 to 30,000 people, who knows how many, how, how much your content has reached over the past year. And to reach 
even 10,000 people would cost probably at least a hundred dollars in we're talking about Facebook ads. So you're like, you know, I don't know if I want to spend a hundred dollars announcing this thing. Great. Can you spend 30? Okay. Uh, okay. Spend, spend 30 okay. And, and do the one. Okay. Then. That's very, very helpful. And also I forgot to mention YouTube because not only am I going to, sure. you know, oh, I, yeah. I have to there first break into Instagram. I've already okay. broken into YouTube yeah. and YouTube so, is my, is my Mount Everest. Like I really want to. Come yeah. So YouTube. then, so then you would make a special short video for okay. YouTube. Um, now, when I say short, does it have to be less than one minute long? It can be if you want to. Those tend to be watched the most. But um, but yeah, it's, it's okay to make it two, three, four minutes um, as an announcement. Yeah. Okay. And then just, you know, try to use the SEO to attract. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, I think YouTube SEO, yeah, YouTube SEO actually does work pretty quickly. So if you have done any keyword research, you can certainly try that yes. out for for the for the, the title okay. especially yeah so. okay so just be another category of youtube videos yeah. that i yeah do, good which are announcements of yeah upcoming events here we go which i hadn't really thought about thank you there you go you're welcome good well i'm glad we talked through this and uh thanks for asking the beginning it's the beginning yes it's the beginning yeah <laughs> ads Yay. coming coming this year ads yes good <laughs> thanks tomar